you want to buy a movie, but you don't know what to get, we'll stand at the catfish, we'll be your best bet, we will tell you about the movie, we will tell you what we think, and while we talk about it, we will even have a drink, it's the stand, and catfish movie review, we're doing it for you! So it seems like this is gonna be our last episode. So we're gonna hit you with a double feature. This episode featuring Right Turn, Left Turn, and the Think Tank Almanac. So up first, we're gonna talk about uh, Right Turn, Left Turn. Catfish, this was uh, Think Tank's special project this year. What was the rundown with it? The whole story behind it is that Jesse Burtner came up with the concept for the movie when he was in high school, had it written down on a bunch of notepads and finally felt like he had the right mix of riders and the right season to you know make the movie that he's always wanted to make and it was pretty cool it was very visually driven and it just wasn't really part based but i feel like anytime you do something that's not part based it's hard not to compare it to movies like after lame or 91 words for snow which in my opinion are two of the best movies ever oh, you, yeah so you said that it wasn't part based but i couldn't help notice that there still are segments of people's parts did you have a favorite one yeah, I'd have to say the first segment, Max Warbington's, he really stood out and it was cool to see him sort of make the leap from the underdog crew to the Think Tank crew. And it really felt like a natural fit. Stan, do you think there was anything lacking from this movie at all? You know, I could have served to see more Frederick Perry footage. Yeah, I know I he got hurt, but uh, the mushroom plant was a standout, but I just would have liked to see more Freddy. Uh, which one are you gonna play first, Catfish? Uh, I'd probably go with right turn, left turn, mainly because of the Tube City part where both crews sort of sync up together and some old Thank You Thank alums like uh, Nick Viscani and Ryan Paul. It really, uh, it was a nice transition into Almanac, which is like the new breath into Think Think. Tell it to me, Catfish. What was really cool about this movie was that it started with Justin Keniston because I realized that he's a lot like a pumpkin spice latte. He's mm -hmm. basic but refreshing and a ginger. Wow, that is profound. And it really blew my mind how many shots the Think Tank writers have in their part compared to other videos. I agree, Catfish. It's like, you cannot watch a Think Tank movie once. You have to watch it multiple times if you want to obtain anything. And I am still trying to decide if that is the worst or best idea ever. I mean, you could sneeze and miss three tricks easily. <laughs> also, I kind of felt like this was the best music in any Think Tank movie in history. No, I totally agree. I've heard of people vomiting from the music in past Think Tank videos, mainly DVD menus. And you know, this year, I thought it was the best music all year long out of any video. So this video was much more part oriented. What part was your favorite? Oh, I would definitely say Ted Borland's. I thought. His presses were on point, and then he also had just a bunch of creative spots that were just spot on. I have a theory that Ted Borland may or may not be an illegitimate child of Larry Bird. Not to mention, he easily had the best haircut in this movie. Yeah, he looked like Friar Tuck. You know, there was uh, one part for me, Stan, that just you know didn't feel very Think Tank. Did you pick up on that at all? Yeah, you know, I sort of felt like Sam Holbert had more double courts than the entire Olympic telecast. <laughs> What'd you think of the uh, Ender, Stan? Brandon Reese, sick part. Huge letdown though, that he could not live up to Colorado legend Brett Meyer and just stick that dark slide. It's really rooting for him. Yeah, we're rooting for him. You know, Stan, this is our final one. Let the people know, would you consume? I would consume this movie. This is a definite buy on my part, it's a yes. How about you? Oh, it's a definite buy for me too. I almost feel like they're cheating because it's two videos, you know? There's no way that they're not going to hit every demographic of what you want in a snowboard video. Catfish, Yobeat audience, thank you for tuning in to our final episode. I just opened this beer. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Shout out to Biggs. <laughs> Just give a quick shout out to Biggs, who are definitely not a corporate sponsor, but they're slamming good. <laughs> <laughs>